And here I want to show you how to create um, custom symbols for any 3D objects. So in this video I will be doing um, some symbols for electrical objects. Unfortunately there are non, not much um, not my, not many objects available in Architect Library, therefore I went to 3D Warehouse, the SketchUp and the search for some power outlets. This is the socket which I'm going to use. I've downloaded it and I want it to look like this. So as you can see I already created this for the double one. And if we go into 3D, we can see that here is the double one. That's how it looks in 3D. So it's an object which you can choose. And in the ground floor, it just looks as a symbol, which is now legend. So I downloaded the object which I want to use. And I go in plan view, I go file and merge. And I select my object, this one. Okay. Place it anywhere. Okay, here is my PowerPoint. I want to look at it in 3D. Here you go. I want to rotate it so it's in the right direction. But as you can see, I can't rotate when it, I can't rotate it when it's just isn't object so that's why I just want to convert it to morph. Convert selection to morph here yeah. and now I can put it in the right direction. Uh, just need to snap it to right angle. So make sure that you follow your yellow Right lines, here you go. I'm not sure why I copied it. So here is my morph. Uh, another adjustment which I want to make is I want to make a box which usually goes on the back of the PowerPoints. Because if we leave it as a just as a panel as it is, we will not be able to see if the actual electrical box penetrates our stats or anything else so this this therefore i want to increase this part um I'm just select one side of it so currently it's five mils usually they're about 53 mils so we'll just make them 55 so add another 50 and i'll do the same for the other side So here you go, here is my single power outlet with the box. Um, now I need to select it and move it to the layer I want the object to be in. So for the, in this case design fitting electrical. So now it's on the right layer. Now I want to save it as an object. I go to file, libraries and object. Save selection as object. Okay. And I've got my electrical item. So I've got my double PowerPoint here. Now I will not be doing my final name just because of some glitches with Archicad. I'll just call it as two because it's my second object. Yeah. Okay. So now this one was saved as an object and we can go to the ground floor. We go to the object tool. Here we go. It selects automatically and number two. Here you go. So this is our original morph and this is our new object. If we go to 3D, so I'm still on my here you go. This is my object. So now I want the symbol to be like on a legend, a single PowerPoint. So what I want to do, I want to copy 
the symbol which is just the lines and I want to now select this object and then go to file library is an object open object uh, so this is now the dialog box which lets us to edit some of the parameters as well as it as well as a 2d symbol so if we go to 2d symbol there you go that's what i can see so this is our panel this is our box if i go command v yep so this is our symbol uh, when we place our object we want our symbol to be on the inside of the wall so when we place this object our wall will be here so that's why we want to find the center of this object and move it to the center so I'll just do like this and then go down to this point so when I place it so this side is flush with wall so my symbol is flush with wall as well and now I want to do command S close this window go to my ground floor here you go so what happened is if I place my more uh, this symbol appeared within the bounding box of original symbol so we want to disconnect it and in order to do so, we need to open settings again. I'll just do this again for now. So I want to select our object. File, uh, there's an object, open object. And we want now to go into the script part. So we were in this part, which is to the symbol. Now I want to see the script. So script says nothing. Um, we need to paste this bit of text which I will leave in the help file this piece of script will make it disconnected from the will make the symbol to be disconnected from the actual 3d object I mean from the size so I go command s run for and here you go our symbol now is in the same scale as we actually put it in so another problem which we have now, you see those hotspots, they are on the edges of the 2D symbol. So when we go to the 3D, here are the hotspots. So they are here, there, there, basically everywhere except our actual PowerPoint. That, that's why when we, if we want to move the PowerPoint, we can't do this, we have to use those spots and which is not helpful so we're going to change it um, back to our ground floor this is our symbol and this is why we left those lines for now we want to add some hot spots so we go to our more hotspot tool and we're zooming in so we need to insert the hot spots which will be important when we are placing the 3d object so which i think the most important is this part because that's where we want to be lined up with our wall so i'll place one hand spot here i'll place one hand spot here as well just in case one here one here i also want to add some hot spots at the back so at least we know where our actual object finishes and one in the middle so to do this what do I have to select like so, yeah. you get to the no it doesn't okay so what I'll do here you go, just I want to place it in the middle 
Let my hot spot select it. Here we go. Remove all guidelines. So now I have all these hot spots. Now I can remove the lines from the object. So we go back to our settings and to the symbol. Now I want to remove all of the lines which I don't want to be shown. Delete. Come on, this. So now here is our object. We don't have the lines anymore, but we still have the hotspots. So now we need to save it as another object. We select everything, including the hotspots. And then it's now the layer. We want to change it to electrical. And we go File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as. Oh, oops, sorry, not the door. File, Save Selection as Object. And we want to go to electrical items and we'll call it Single Power Point. So that's the reason why I created this one and two, because at this stage, for some reason, it doesn't let me to overwrite. So if I already created a single PowerPoint, then now I wouldn't be able to overwrite it and I would have to create like a file called single PowerPoint 2 or anything like this. So I'd rather just to create a single PowerPoint and then I'll delete those from libraries because we just we will not need them. So single PowerPoint, save, OK. So now we want to test it. So this is the object which we don't need. We'll just leave it for now, just in case. So I want to place a single PowerPoint here. And I go on to two, single PowerPoint. And it's, it's in the right layer as well. So click and we want to select. Here I go, here are all those spots, so we know that this is the inside of the panel. So we place it like this, and we want to check it in 3D. Here you go, here is our PowerPoint, and we want it to be same level as the first one. And here you go. So now we want to, if we want just to create this pretty image, so it's easy to understand, just want to copy this PowerPoint and drag it somewhere and we want to do a little screenshot of it. So something like this. So if we do a screenshot like this, I will not see what's at the back. Um, for Windows, we just use the snipping tool and we snip what we want to snip. And now you will be able just to paste them in Archicad. In my confusion, I can't do this for some reason, which I hate. So what I've done, I just placed the image previously in Photoshop and copy it. Again, for Windows we don't need to do this. We just go straight. We just go back to our ground floor. I close all of that. I want to open my object. Now this is object, open object. And I want to go to preview picture and I command V, here we go, and command S. Now I need to save it from this V command S. So now we have a pretty image, we go to ground floor. So just do those that don't need them anymore. And if I have a look at my objects, here we go, this is the pretty image. So that's how we create the symbols yeah and I'll just finish this screen recording